Hey guys, I'm John. Today we're here at the Mishimoto Garage to install the Mishimoto Direct Fit Baffled Oil Catch Can for the 2006 to 2010 BMW N54. While you're at it, also check out the Mishimoto Performance Intercooler and Performance Aluminum Radiator. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. Let's get started on the install. Tools needed for install include two and a half and five millimeter Allen keys, eight and 10 millimeter sockets, quarter drive six inch extension, quarter drive ratchet, seven eighths wrench, a pick tool and a flathead screwdriver. Install time is about two hours and install difficulty is a three out of five. Pull up on the four tabs and remove the top cover, exposing the battery cable and wire harness. First, remove the battery cable and set it aside. Then, remove the wire harness and set that aside. Now you want to remove the bottom half of the tray that holds the harness. To remove it, use a pick tool or a flathead screwdriver and unclip the three clips. Next, you want to remove the last wire harness by unclipping two clips using a pick tool and pulling outward. Now, on the driver's side, near the access panel, remove the ambient temperature sensor harness. There are two clips that you remove by hand. Set them aside. On the passenger side, twist the harness about 30 degrees and pull outwards. Set the harness aside. On the passenger side, remove the side panel by lifting up on the two tabs. Then move the tab towards the cabin of your BMW. On the driver's side, remove the side panel by lifting up on the two tabs. Then, move the tab towards the cabin of your BMW. Remove the two 8mm bolts from the exposed side panels you just removed. Now, remove the six 8mm coarse threaded bolts from the panel you just removed the other two from. Next, remove the cabin filter panel from your N54. Now, on the driver's side of your vehicle, lift up on the tab and set it aside. Do the same thing for the passenger side as well. Once all that is done, you can remove the entire panel from your engine bay. Next, remove the four 5mm Allen bolts from your engine cover. Once the bolts are removed, remove the cover from your engine bay. Using a pick tool or a flathead screwdriver, unclip the clip on the flapper valve. Using a pick tool or flathead screwdriver again, remove the other side of the flapper valve. Now, go ahead and remove the entire hose from your engine. On the hose, pull off the quick disconnect fitting. You might need to use a heat gun to pull it off. Make sure to be very careful not to break the fitting as you're going to reuse it. The quick disconnect fitting you just pulled off the hose can be reattached to the vehicle where you just pulled it off from. Take the first hose with the 180 degree bend and slide it through so it seats nicely. You can attach it to the other port where the flapper valve came off when we first removed that hose. Take the second hose and route it the same as the first one. Once everything is seated properly, using a pick tool, slide the hose onto the piece you previously installed. Once both hoses are seated properly, be sure to take notice that both of them are routed towards the front of the engine bay on the driver's side. Now we're ready to prep the catch can. Take both fittings and thread them into the lid using a 7 8 inch wrench. Take the bracket and attach the three M4 screws and plastic washers using a 2.5 mm Allen key. Remove the two 10 mm nuts from the bracket that holds the power steering reservoir in place. Now grab the catch can assembly and tighten it down where you remove the two previous 10 mm nuts. Take the straight hose that goes from the valve cover and place it on the in inlet on the can. These hoses don't require any worm gear clamps since they are only under vacuum. Take the second hose that comes from the intake and place it on the outlet marked out on the can. Reattach the engine cover back onto the top of your engine using the four 5mm Allen bolts you removed earlier. Reattach the main panel onto your BMW. Once in, slide the rubber tabs into place to lock the panel. Now you can place in your cabin filter panel. 
tighten down the six 8mm coarse threaded bolts that the panel uses to stay in place. Now, tighten the two 8mm machine threaded bolts from the exposed side panels. One is located on your driver's side and the other is on the passenger side. On the driver's side, reattach the side panel by pressing in on the tabs. Now, on the driver's side near the access panel, reattach the ambient temperature sensor harness you removed earlier. On the passenger side, reattach the side panel by pressing in on the tabs. On the passenger side, twist the harness about 30 degrees and push inwards to lock in place. Now we want to put back the wire harnesses. Take the first one and with the two tabs, snap it into place using a pick tool or a flathead screwdriver. Next, we want to reattach the bottom tray that holds the other two harnesses. You can use a pick tool to help guide it in place. Grab the remaining two harnesses and place them neatly into that tray. Lastly, take the top cover and place it on top of the bottom tray and push on the four tabs. Now that you've installed your Mishimoto Direct Fit Baffled Oil Catch Can, it's important to check the contents of the can every 1,000 miles until a baseline is established. Oil blow-by will vary depending on driving conditions and ambient temperatures. To make servicing your catch can even easier, check out the Mishimoto Drain Kit which attaches to the bottom of the can. Also, don't forget to click subscribe.